Have you ever woke up early in the morning and not been able to fall back asleep? Don't worry, you're not alone. Next time you wake up at 4.30 a.m. and have nothing else to do, head to Beijing's most famous flea market, Pan Jia Yuan, known to foreigners as Beijing's Curio Market. Established in 1980 in the Chaoyang Hutong, Pan Jia Yuan has always been a thriving antique market, loved by visitors and locals alike, and run by small traders. This super shopping market is home to Chinese arts and crafts, run by stall owners from over 24 different provinces. There are over 3,000 individual stalls and over 48,000 square meters, so there is truly something for everyone. Even Hillary Clinton was spotted shopping here years back. Originally, the market was only open on weekends, but after some renovations, she's now open for business seven days a week. However, Saturdays and Sundays are still the best days to go. There is some dispute as to the ideal time to visit. If you wish to see the market in its full bustle, I'd say morning is your best bet. However, many believe that prices drop later in the day. Secondhand goods, arts and crafts, and antiquities are the main transactions in the market. Between stalls, you will find a slight overlap of goods, so be sure to compare prices and bargain with the owners. However, the market is so immense that there is still a wide variety of products to choose from. Pan Jia Yuan in many ways is more of a festival than an antique market. The entrance to the market is easily identified by the haphazard rows of bicycles and rickshaws. By 9 a.m., the place will be as crowded and busy as an anthill. So come early, bring cash, and bargain hard. Many people who come to Beijing to go to the shopping market. In this place, you can buy from China's various places. In this place, there are many different things. In any time, there are many different things. If you have a good time, you can buy a lot of money to buy a real bag. The Beijing Pan Jia Yuan market is a kind of international market market. 是一个经营民间旧货、工艺品、收藏品的地方。市场分为工艺品区、古旧家具区、古旧字画区、古玩区等四个经营区。经营者来自中国的二十多个省市，他们当中有很多人能够用外语和顾客交流。一些经营者还专门准备了英语。德语、法语、日语等各种语言的翻译手册，为来自不同国家的顾客提供方便。有潘家园，我就在。最早的时候，潘家园是地摊儿，没有这个潘家园这个屋子。慢慢慢慢，一点一点的，这聚起来，按正规的什么改建啊，大棚了，弄仿古建筑了。开始这么起来了，所以人家慢慢慢,慢这潘家园老卖老东西，知名度就越来越高，越来越高。到了潘家园不用上别处去了，就在这儿你就可以直接想要什么就买到什么，买新的也行，买老的也行，买收藏的也行，买木器、玉器都可以，所以人家就愿意来这儿。这个东西我喜欢，但是价格太高啊！我找个像，会去找一个专家给我帮我看看再说，好了吗？
潘家园旧货市场规模很大，面积有四万八千多平方米，三千多个户外经营点，六百多家商店，光从事经营的人员就有一万人左右。每当到了周末，市场里面的顾客一下子就比平时增加了很多。来自不同国家、说着各种语言的人们。聚集在这里购物游览。据说，潘家园旧货市场人数最多的时候，一天能够达到五万人，看上去就像是在过一个非常大的国际性的节日。星期天的潘家园最热闹，来自世界各地的人都有，大概每个人想找到一份。意外的收获。不过，我只是个快乐的旅行者潘家园旧货市场不仅仅是人们购物的地方，更像是一个大的民间博物馆。即使你不买东西，随便走一走、看一看，感受一下老北京的味道，也是一种享受。In the southeastern portion, you will find a dizzying array of Chinese paintings, including calligraphy, as well as beads and jade. Something for the foreign visitor to note is that although all of these crafts are handmade, they are mass-produced and therefore should not be too expensive. Zone two, or the northeastern portion, boasts more beads, as well as bronze vessels, ceramic vases, and small wooden furniture. In zone three. Visitors are treated to a display of Chinese ethnic minority arts and crafts, trinkets, antiques, and apparel. Most of the shop owners are from Tibet. In Zone Four, or the northwestern portion, visitors should be aware that most of these products aren't actually antiques at all. If asked, the sellers will often confess that these products are fake, and are merely used for display in one's house as decoration. Or as a gift for a loved one, because of this, more reasonable prices are given. This section is perfect for those looking for that particular something because it is enormous. To get there, you can take Subway Line Ten to Jin Song Station. The easiest way to reach the market is by taxi, or you can catch the number 28 bus to Panjiayuan Bridge, just outside of Guomao Station, through Exit C. At only one yuan per person, I believe the bus is definitely the best bargain. Also, Panjia Yuan can easily be combined with a trip to the Temple of Heaven. This makes for a really nice day out. After enjoying the sights and sounds of the Temple of Heaven and the surrounding park, simply cross Tian Tan Dong Lu from the East Gate entrance and catch bus number 36 on Tiu Guan Lu. After seven stops or about 15 minutes. You're just a two-minute stroll from the market. Buying is surely part of the fun, but if shopping really isn't your bag, you can always spend the weekend marveling at the accumulation of the world's oldest civilization. Panjiayuan used to be a place where you could find treasures, things that were totally unique. Not so much anymore. It mostly just caters to tourists. Well, good luck. I hope you leave the market with a smile on your face and some unexpected souvenirs in hand. See you next time.